What's going on, coders, and welcome to episode 1.0 of our Google Apps Script course. This is the start of a new playlist, which is going to be describing the spreadsheet service that Google Apps Script provides. So, the service that is used to access Sheets is the Spreadsheet app, which is kind of like a wrapper of the Sheets API, which Google has created. Basically, what that means is that it doesn't include everything that the Sheets API includes, but in, sh but in my experience with it, it includes probably 99% of the stuff that you're going to have to use. So it is commonly used. I use this all the time. Um, some of the direct uses or some of the direct methods that you can use from the spreadsheet app are things like opening spreadsheets, getting UIs, accessing some of the enums, but basically this is the parent class of, of the service used to access sheets. So let's look a little bit deeper in the code. So we're here in the app script dashboard. I'm going to create a new project for this playlist. And we're going to give it a new name right off the bat. We're going to call it Season 1 for the spreadsheet service. So it's going to be saving. So just, just to let you know, this is, again, a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, you have to declare functions, give it a name, which is right here. There's these two brackets or parentheses, and then there's these curly brackets. So if you don't know, everything that you write inside of a function, if you want to execute that function, has to go in between these curly brackets. So this video is on Spreadsheet App. Let's just type in Spreadsheet App. So when we type in Spreadsheet App and then we hit the period button or the dot button, we should get an auto-completion. So we get access to all of the enums and all of the methods that you can access directly from Spreadsheet App. If this doesn't pop up, then maybe you spelled something wrong. Um, I will say that it is case sensitive, so the S has to be capitalized, the A has to be capitalized. But if you do you know, hit the period button and then you get this drop down of all the things that you can select from it, then you're doing this right. So one more thing before I wrap up this video is you need to authenticate your app. So in order to access the spreadsheet app and access somebody's data, for instance, this one we're only going to be accessing our own, but in order to do that, you need to have authentication to do that. So I'm just going to hit create real quick, and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to call it my spreadsheet, end it with a semicolon, hit the save button, hit the run button, and then it's going to say we're going to need to require you to, uh, to authorize. So we're going to review the permissions. Basically it says which account do you want this app to access? And I want this account to access it, which is my own account. The app isn't verified, that's okay though because I wrote it, I trust the developer, I am the developer. Go to advanced, go to season one, which is this project tells you what this app wants to do, which is see, create, edit, and delete your spreadsheets in Google Drive. That's fine, because I wrote it again. I know there's no malicious code. I'm going to hit allow, and then, and then it's going to run the function. So now we have access to spreadsheet. You only have to do that once. When you, run the, when you run it for the first time, you need to authenticate it. Every time subsequent to that, you don't need to keep authenticating. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.